Hi guys, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain. Today's card, I'm hoping, is going to be relatively quick, but very spectacular. I'm starting off with this, which is basically a laminate folder. And all I've done is I've put some various sparkly bits in between the two pieces and put it through the hot laminator. Now, you want to make sure that your laminator is well and truly up to heat when doing this because otherwise you'll get something which looks a bit like condensation between the sheets. It doesn't look as pretty. But I've got a few bits of mylar in here. I've got some sequins, plastic sequins, some stars. Basically anything that you like which is pretty and glitzy and lovely. So the front layer of my card is going to be this one. Now this is a glitter card. Again, it's one of those glitters where nothing actually comes off, which is great. And what I need to do is to put some double side tape all the way around the edge of this and around the inside frame as well, so that I can put this in place and then sandwich it with another layer, which is going to go like so. My next step is to use some of this draft excluder to neaten up around the outside of this frame. So what I'm going to do is take this and put it around the outside edge, got a sticky layer on one side, which has two properties really, but it does make it easier to cut and to do this kind of thing. Um, but it also means that when you put the next layer on, you will need to put some adhesive on the top for reasons which will become obvious in a moment. I'm just going to snip that off pretty much at the end. There we go, chuck that tiny little bit in the bin. And from the outside, it will be reasonably tidy. Not absolutely wonderful, but it hides a lot of things. So next thing I want is a one of these. Now this is a set of battery operated string lights. Opens up so you can change the batteries in there if you want to. This particular set is multicolored, and when I switch them on, you get to see the lights. Now you know why this is going to be spectacular, don't you? Now the great thing with this is that you don't actually have to do any wiring at all. You just use it as is. But what I've chosen to do is get this to my right hand side because I'm right handed. What I'm going to do is to take a little bit of the foam off there and I'm going to situate this holder so that the only thing sticking out is the switch. And it's a very small switch so it doesn't stick out very far. So I just need to take a little bit of that foam away. Just move that out of the way so I don't snip the wire. Okay, that's gone. I can put some double-sided tape down on here in order to keep my battery compartment in place. So that's nice and easy. And you can put it up whichever way you like, it doesn't make any difference. But I generally put it around that way. There we go. So that will stay in place. Now you're thinking, now, how am I going to put all this in here and get it to stay? Well, this is where this stuff comes in again. You can use a normal double-sided foam tape if you have a nice chunky one. But I've chosen this because this is about the same thickness as the battery compartment. And all I have to do is to chop this into relative... Oops flying all over the place, relatively small pieces. I am going to work out where my first light is. So this is my first light on this string. And so I want that light to be up there. I mean, you can put it anywhere you really want, but I, that's where I decide I want it. So I'm just going to get some normal sticky tape. Just take the end off of that because I had it folded over. And I'm just going to stick a piece of tape over this wire here just to keep it down where I want it. 
and that's the first thing. But then all I have to do is put these pieces of foam, it's a bit too close to the edge there, pieces of foam where I want it. So if I take this one, that one is there, stick that little bit down still, there we go. So I can fold it around here and I can make sure it's somewhere near the inner part of the frame. And I can either put these this way around, I can put them that way around, but basically all I'm going to do is wind the wire around these little foam blocks. So for the background of this one, I'm going to be using this rather pretty floral print. So I happen to know that that should go round about there. Just going to place this over the top. Yeah, that is pretty much about right. And just going to use a little bit of washi tape to stick this down for the moment. Now there's two ways of doing this. I've got all the letters cut out. Now you do need to be careful because the happy is larger letters than the birthday, obviously. So you want to try and make sure you've got them in the right order because otherwise you'll be thinking something doesn't fit when it actually does. So you can either put glue in here. Now, bearing in mind, letters like B's, for example, have got holes in, so only put the glue around the outside edges. Or you can use a pen or a pencil and you can draw the letters onto your background and then you can glue them in place afterwards. It's a matter of preference. Now, because this is quite a busy design, if I'm going to stencil this, I'm going to have to do it with a black pen. So let me just check that this one is working. Yeah, I think so. So I'm just going to trace these with a black pen and then I'll stick my letters in place. There we go. So pretty subtle. And then that is going to go over the top of it to finish it off. As you can see here, I've put plenty of tape over the top. It's going all the way around the sides. And doing one edge first is the easiest way of doing it. So now I can remove the tape from these sides and the other edge. And close it down. And that is a self-contained card panel. Okay, so the idea is you can just put this on top of your A5 card, or of course you can put something on the back of it. You can actually hang it on the wall if that's what you want to do. And the lights go on, uh, isn't that gorgeous? So it's really pretty, quite spectacular. That would make a really nice special birthday card. So here's two cards I've made in the same design. You can see this one a bit more easily on the camera, but they are both absolutely gorgeous. And I think anyone would be happy to receive one of those. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll leave you some more videos to watch should you wish, and I'll see you again soon. Take care now.